Leo? Do you know where Leo is? Not in his office. Oh, yes, his office. Let me check it again for the second time. No, still not here. He's been disappearing a lot lately. Maybe he's in a hotel room with his lover. Which one? Which hotel or which lover? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Forty hours community service. Forty hours. I have to get the name of his lawyer. Oh, is, is that the doctor for? Yeah. You didn't think you could tell us? No. To keep it a secret. I know. We don't have any secrets, do we? Well, I just don't understand. There's no way he's going to tell us. He's our boss. It would undermine his authority. It would push his moral superiority. He wouldn't be able to think he was right all the time. Oh, Something okay. which I hazard a guess he's really going to miss. I'm beginning to understand it a bit better. Good God, Leo. Almost makes you human. What does this say? He'd been drinking. How old was he? Fourteen. In the middle of the day. Can you afford to be sanctimonious? Look, I was just over. It was a stupid mistake. Most mistakes are stupid by their nature. Manuastel, morphine, cocaine, codeine. Crack and smack. You should have told us. I was ashamed. So you should be. Sorry. I'm sorry for all of it. It was a very stupid thing to do. Bessing, can we just draw a line under this, please? Absolutely not. <laughs> Who are you waiting for? Me. I'll just, uh... I'll be right there. Right. Good. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, Leo, I, um, I haven't managed to tell Harry yet. I'm know. very happy to be in the dark on this. Okay. Bye. Have I got comp And he's good in bed as well. Seems really unfair. She's a colleague. Hmm? This is an inappropriate conversation. Totally agree. Why are you talking about it? Let's see. <laughs> he's great, Nicky. He's great. You did make him pay for the first date, didn't you? Was I meant to? Yes. And you're, you know, you're not going to... Offer up the goodies too soon. What goodies? Oh, God, I'm too late, aren't I? It's a scam. I mean, what are we meant to do? I mean, the feral makes me want to risk my life for the little black bastards. How about you? Ryan? Well, I've got to go. Hmm. You're right. I don't know. I was waiting to go to the Institute dinner with you, and I found myself in a surgical supply store. And that's where you got that? Yeah. Oh, you've got... You should have worn to the dinner. You have camouflaged the spill from Nikki's pina colada. It was a tiny splash. It wasn't the size, it was the location. Anyway, it's given me the uh, idea for my lecture. Wait a minute, let me get this clear. You are proposing to deliver a lecture to a room full of students wearing that? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Already? Within reason. She questions my taste. Right, I was just saying that the police can find out this kind of thing for themselves and we probably shouldn't burden Superintendent Barker with it. I would. In your lecture you said forensic pathology was where medicine connected with justice. Yes. You talked about how closely you work with the police, how sometimes you felt you were as much a branch of detection as medicine. Did I? The figure of speech. Probably a showing off, actually. I was just showing you something I downloaded off the internet. I've got to go and... What? She should focus on forensics, not this kind of... And you could back me up. Well, that's rarely any fun. Well, what, are you just like, identifying with her or something? Is this some kind of girl thing? I wonder who put the men in mental. 
Perhaps whoever put the U in pain in the neck. Only means she's gone home. And I thought I sensed romance. <laughs> there is romance. But she's a student, that's illegal. Leo. You and Leo? Leo and Janet. So what's the story? Have you not read it? I don't look at the newspapers at the weekend. Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> Not just the PM report, it claims the police have some unspecified forensic evidence. But we didn't find any extra DNA. No. The stalkers didn't find any fibres or prints? No. Nope. So you're saying that Holly called up some reporters and told them that we had forensic evidence that we don't have? And why would you do that? I don't know. Have you asked her? Denies it. And? Well, and now I feel incredibly stupid for having put so much trust in her. Well, she's an attractive girl. She flattered you. But I don't need the flattery of my students, thanks. Just because you've never dissected a flattery gland doesn't mean you haven't got one. Leaving aside the stimulation of my glands or otherwise, she would be throwing away her career. How do you know she wants her career? You don't know how this lot have grown up. They're all voyeurs now. Oh, that's not the end of my appointment. Are you meeting someone unsuitable, no doubt? Might be. Tart. Drunk. Harry? I've just done something I've never done before. What? I've concealed PM evidence from the police. What evidence? She'd had sex. Oh God, I've never done this before. Why did you do it? I don't know. Not I... because you thought it was me, please. I did it because I was frightened. What are you frightened of? Barker? His DNA will be on the database. Oh God, what's happening here? You feel vulnerable for good reason.